Hey, what's up? It's Thomas, and today I am so excited to run you through the next version of the Polychrome DSP McRocklin Suite 1.5, aka Ground Control. Now, this is way more than your average update. It looks like a brand new plugin, it feels like a brand new plugin, it has tons of awesome new features. Before you dive right in and hit that download button and update your plugin, you might want to finish your old projects first because your door will even see this as a brand new plugin. If you're new to the McRockland suite, let me give you a brief overview so you know what you're gonna get. You know what you're dealing with. Uh, so let's start off with a very, very basic preset. It's our new default preset and this preset sounds like this. We've simplified it so you have the pleasure of turning on some of those effects for the first time. So let's have a look. Up front we have a brand new wah, we'll get to that in a moment. Heat presser, which is a multi-algorithm compressor. Synth oct. <laughs> a really, really awesome effect. And the new phaser, which I'll, I'll show you in detail in just a moment. We have four overdrive pedals. So attacker. Very, very aggressive. Shredder. <laughs> Riffer! And Viber. So you have four overdrives, seven speakers per amplifier, and they all sound very different. seen this new button here. This is called the swampy mode and for me that's so cool because a lot of the time in live streams I used to have a separate instance of another reverb running just so I could push my guitar into the distance. So for example and when you take that swamp button out it goes back to your normal reverb setting. So that's a really, really cool new feature. And obviously that can be MIDI assigned just by right clicking on it and boom, you've got a new swamp button on your floor pedal. Super cool, but we'll get to the MIDI stuff in just a moment. All right, let's continue the overview and I'll show you how the edge sounds. <laughs> And the acoustic channel. The acoustic channel also has four different profiles. Here's the second one. The acoustic channel plus some chorus. Maybe some dream reverb, a bit of ping pong delay. It's really quick and easy to create inspiring tones, but if that's not your thing and you prefer just to load a tone, then we have over 500 tones in the 1.5 release, and many of those tones are brand new to 1.5. And some of the best presets that I've created so far are included with this release. I think you're gonna love those. For now, let's keep that default preset loaded. <laughs> And let me show you some of the brand new features. So starting off with the new phaser. So with the Pink Ninja lead preset, I'm using the phaser to give my guitar some 3D space. Very, 
very, very subtly, so you don't hear lots of the modulation, but you get that expansion, and it really makes your guitar tone pop out in a mix. And that's really cool because we also have the wide tool. <laughs> just a nice second option that you can use. Now, as you push the amount up, you're gonna hear more of the modulation. Which gets you more into that traditional phaser type of territory. And of course, if I just turn the reverb and delay off here, uh, maybe even the, the shredder, simplify the tone a bit. As we turn the wide off, the phaser becomes more like a front end, something that you put in the front of your tone stack, but a mono phaser. I personally like it to be a little bit slower, so you don't hear too much of the kind of modulation sweep back, sweeping back and forwards, but everyone has their own taste when it comes to modulation. Before we get into the wow, wow let me show you another new feature, which is MIDI. There's two ways you can get to it. You can click on the logo and click on MIDI. And this is where you can do all of your MIDI mapping, or you can simply right click on a parameter. So for example, I don't know, I have a controller keyboard under the desk here. If I turn a knob here, bang, instantly it's gonna map it to that uh, parameter that we just right clicked on. And of course I can remove that mapping as well. So for me, during live streams, for example, I love to change tones. So you can see my setup is basically a lot of tones, some of my favorite tones. So that means when I come over to my floor unit over here, I can stamp on a button. <laughs> I can choose sounds that have reverb and delay for solos. Choose cleans. that is very, very, very quick to change tones. So if you're using the Polychrome DSP McGrocklin Suite in a live situation, I think it will deal very, very well. I use it for live streams and the preset switching is so fast that it's, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> a lead tone here now and on the floor I have an expression pedal plugged into my MIDI controller and that means I can use a Wawa now that's all software this is a first for me because I've always used hardware WAS and this is how it sounds <laughs> So there's a super cool trick that we do with the MIDI for the WAH that makes it the only software WAH that I've ever been able to use, ever. When you lift off the Dunlop WAH, there's this kind of delayed off. If, if you've ever experienced a software WAH and you get to the top and it just cuts off, it goes off. It's like on, off, on, off. That's not how a regular wah would work. Usually you would have to stamp on it to turn it off, or there's this kind of delayed period when you go to the heel position. With a polychrome wah, if you go to the MIDI settings for the wah, we can actually control the time that it takes to disengage the wah wah. Now this is super cool, so if we have like no time, just zero, when I get to the heel position, <laughs> it goes off straight away. But if I add, let's say 280 milliseconds, when I get to that heel position, yeah. 
you get that delay. So that means when you're doing like real sort of funky stuff, it doesn't keep disengaging the wah when you get to that heel back position like pretty much every other software wah does. And that's more like how the Dunlop 95Q behaves. <laughs> So you can control exactly how long you would like that delay to be. I think that's a really cool feature and it makes this software wah so much more usable. Let's check out one of the brand new presets that uses the auto wah with phaser. <laughs> Here's how the auto wah sounds with a clean amp and a little bit of chorus on. And this is how the auto wah sounds with a little bit of synth oct on the gain amp. Very, very subtle. <laughs> Here's another new preset, it's a low gain preset, it's called Max02. Scroll through the next preset. Mid gain superstar. That's pretty cool because this uses the edge channel as a gain sound. You can see it has two drives stacked on top of each other. And it just shows you the flexibility of the amps that they can take so much uh, gain, you know? So if we stack three drives on top of each other, let's get some help from that gate. And now, three drives going into an amp usually is a recipe for disaster. If I turn that gate off, woo, but the gate is just so, so responsive. It knows exactly what it wants to get through to the amp. <laughs> So if you want more like a, a Morley, I guess, like a very Steve Vai, very, very aggressive type of wah, push that bite up. And you're gonna get much more of a pronounced Q push into the amp. Uh, I prefer it more simple, simply per personally, but everyone's taste is different. <laughs> Yeah, that gate is just so powerful. Let's hear how tight that gate can go. And that's not edited in post, that's running real time live in the plugin. This is how my guitar sounds without the polychrome plugin. Super cool. Anyway, guys, I could jam with these presets for hours, but check it out for yourself. And remember, if you own the previous version of the McRockland Suite, then this is a free update. If you have a question about the plugin, then leave us a comment right below that like button. And if you want to chat to me and the team and like-minded Polychrome users, then don't forget you can join us on Discord. You have a great day, enjoy ground control, and I'll see you back here real soon. Thank you so much, enjoy. Cheers, bye. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!